All right, what are you going to show us today? So for Tip Tuesday, we're going to show our potting mix blend. So what we use uh, for our little potted succulents all the way up to uh, up to our mother plants. So all we've got here, it's sort of similar to our cutting mix, except we're just adding in uh, just like a, a, a garden mix at the moment. So we've got 10 parts here. We've just gone off a 100 mil, 100 mil pot. So we've got one part zeolite. We've got uh, three parts of the garden mix, just, just from our local landscape supplier. Just a general mix, is it? Yep. yep. Our garden mix. Yep. Um, then we've got five parts coir. So it's actually 50% of a fine coir, and it's also got 50% like some chunkier bits as well. Um, so you've got a bit of a mixture there. Okay. And then we've got two parts of perlite. So if your products are dry, it's always best to wear a dust mask or a respirator. I've just done a little bit of a sneaky and I've just wet down the perlite so it's not dusty um, and it's it's not going to throw, yeah, you're not going to breathe it in. So we're just going to use our compost tumbler again to blend it all together. Don't there. mind the car on in the background with the sleeping baby. Just <laughs> and our garden mix in there. Yep. So we're just doing a small batch just because oh, only a couple of days ago I've already done a blend, so I um, I don't need more just at the moment. So we'll just put our lid over. Um, we'll get into another another day of fertilizers. Um, if you're using like a slow release fertilizer, um, it's Put it in your compost tumbler that way it blends it all together with your mix uh, that's what we do just easier than having to individually put it on in each in each pot just be blended in together so we're just going to spin this a few times that way. That way. and i'm just going to just pour it into this right here Uh, we'll just bring it over here and that's it there so it's blended quite well the compost thumb tumbler does a fantastic job just stop um, moving for a second yep okay here we go. it's nice and gritty there so when I squeeze it together you don't really want it to, to turn into like a sausage or anything like that um, because it just means it's, it's going to be harder for the roots to penetrate through that potting mix so you'll see there, you squash it together, but it's actually crumbling. So um, should be plenty of um, air pockets there, for plenty of room for the or oxygen for the for the plants roots to breathe there. So. So what happens if you squish it together and it turns into a sausage? How do you well, fix it just by adding extra? Well, you can just add extra perlite. Um, you can add in some little some sand, um, just some chunkier bits of maybe coir. Okay. It just depends on what you've got. You know, locally around you. Um, that's all we're doing. Just using local products here at a, at a good price. Um, we're always experimenting with with our products to try and find the best mix. And so far, we're really I'm really happy with this blend at the moment. So I uh, hope that helps. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I'll do the best I can to answer as quickly as possible. Um, and yeah, happy gardening. And hope you found that helpful.